Hi guys, let's talk about the latest update we've got. So the latest video, 4246, Pac-Man 70 has arrived. Pac-Man, not Pamic. So the package manager of Arch 7.0 has arrived. What to do is explained here. And one of the things we had to remove was an obstruction and was Pamic. Now Pamic is coming from somewhere else. It's coming from Manjaro. So there is somebody named Zep who says, I'm going to make a package build and share it with everybody. And it's on the AOR, Arch User Repository, where he says, this is how you should build the package, lib, the library, PAMIC AOR, and I should make a copy, duplicate. And there's one other we need to have Otherwise, the GUI, it's nothing more than a GUI graphical user interface to find out what packages do we have, uh, what dependencies does it have. But here it is, right? Here are all the dependencies and it's required for what? And in here it says, and that's your job, right? As an end user, you make an account on the Arch Linux user repository here. You log in and you ask very politely, look, um, libpamic AOR and libpamic AOR need updating following pacman 7.0 update currently uninstallable and blocking any pacman updates so it's up to the maintainer it's up to us eh, to alert him and it's up to zep to actually update things but as an end user it is maybe required i don't know to have immediately the update of pamic r pamic aor I always say wait three days and in three days time everything is solved in Arch. That's the the date, the, 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 the delay or the time needed for everybody and getting the message and then sitting down and having a look at the code. But as an end user, you can do that as well, right? So we need to download the code, the snapshot. That's the application and that's the library, lib. So two packages, and we can try to figure it out ourselves. In here, this is searching worldwide, trillions and trillions of videos. No, go to YouTube, Eric Dubois, go to search in here and find the most important word to build things is the package build. I've mentioned it several times, right? So I've made many videos about building packages. What can you learn and how to build, etc. And it applies to so many things like LCI, Carly, and other things, right? So a package build is super easy. I had to do it sometime in, in, in Debian. I thought, don't get it, right? For me, Arch Linux package build is easier, is, is I don't know, intuitive. But still, it can be a super challenge because there are very, very complex package builds indeed on our AOR. But this one, I think we can fix. Two, um, we need to find the source often, right? In this case, it's coming from GitLab Manjaro. And here we can have a look, what did they change? So go to Manjaro. How do I know that it's on Manjaro? Well, we've seen it on the AOR. But if you download these two, you need to extract them here, sure. And that's one of them. And then the other one, extract here. The library needs to come first and then the application. Uh, the application needs the library. And in here, Zep has says, says here, it's coming from GitLab Manjaro. So all I did is Control C, go to the browser and Control V, and you're at the source. And then you look at the source. What is the latest commit? The latest commit is 12 hours ago, three days ago, one week ago, four weeks ago. So the latest commit was this one. And the reference is not to number 14, but number 15. So that's a giveaway. That's something we need to change in our package build. It's no longer 14. It has to be 15. And how do we know that? Well, if you keep, keep digging, right? If you keep digging, then you see that the Pac-Man on Manjaro has also been updated to 7. And that's how we figure out things. So libpamic, what did we change here? Some things and have a look at the code. 
what they changed. This is libpamic, extra. Type in pamic, you get the selection, and then you find this one. Yeah. Same approach. What's the latest commit? 12 hours, five months ago. So 12 hours. And we find just a reference number. All right, so let's have a look with all the information on where I find everything. This is the download Lipamic AOR. I'm gonna check again. That way you're working on the correct file. All right, double click. And then make it bigger. So you read the code and you say, Pac-Man has to be bigger than 6.1 and smaller than 6.2. That's not correct, right? It needs to be seven. So the smaller then is not okay. This is obstructing the build. So that needs to go. Lip alp 14, we saw it in the code. It needs to be 15, safe. That's not safe, this is safe. And you can go over the code so more if you say if you see something that says mm, that's not what i want that's not correct but you can also immediately say let's try make package minus s right s and there are so many options this is um, fish terminal so if we press tab we see in all all the possible things we can do but just an s will do that's it. And we try to build. That's the fun, right? When you are in the folder, you open a, a, a terminal in the folder, it finds the package build and everything around, and it tries to build that particular, um, well, code here, this package build. Then we have the library. So we can install it. We could have given it a different number uh, if you want, uh, you can give it up here a different number. The problem is that if they use that particular number for this thing here, libpamic commit, and commit is okay, commit is this thing, right? Then, yeah, then it won't work. So I, I keep away from this at this point in time, in this particular video, but okay. You can try. So sudo pacman minus u. This is locally. So locally you install it, locally you build it, and voila, we've installed, we've built libpamic and it's installed. But that's the library. The library is no good. I need to do something else. I need to get the pamic AOR as well. And pamic package build here. So this is the application, also by Zep. And we scroll down. Is there anything blocking our thing here? Lip amac bigger than. That's okay. It's still six. We didn't change it. And don't see anything yet. But of course, you can just try. And if you miss something, he'll tell it, right? So let's try and build it. I guess there's nothing blocking it. So nothing needs to be changed. sudo pacman minus u install this thing. And then pamac awar is the one we want. pamac awar, this one. Not interested in CLI, but I could, right? I guess not. Tar ZST is what I need to have. All right, so no, never mind that one. And let's see if it works. Huh? You can delete all the downloads things here. If you... That's the one, <laughs> that's PAMIC. Gconf, okay, fine, apply. So this is our GUI and our GUI is another way of updating things like i said on telegram earlier on i just do this update and be done with it why is pamic interesting so it's the pamic tray is already there so super shift d pamic and then we have the manager installer tray daemon 
right often do the tray so a little button down of up here and then click BAMIC is back up and running right we even with 7.0 the reference point is is probably not correct i mean the name right it will be different from the AOR and let's give it two three days and then Zef will update the script uh, the package build and on our end we have a lot of packages right third-party packages a lot of packages and all of these will be 484 folders will be built and when he updates this one will be updated and libpamic AOR will be updated these two go hand in hand but only we have to wait for the maintainers for the package builders to update the code and everything works but in the meantime right in the meantime it's so essential for you you can do exactly what i did all right i will not put these files on the repo well wait for the official ones i just want to teach you something you can have it if you want cheers